<laughs> but so you're banned from Dubai. Dubai the Arabs mate, I hate them all. He pays lads to like on their chest. Put me in handcuffs, put me in the car. I was thinking I'm gonna get She's a She messaged me a lot of abuse like suck your daddy's big dick and lick his from the back dick. Whoa. And then she blocked that shit. Whoa. And, that and shit. then she blocked me. So last week, me and Alex were lucky enough to have a conversation with a guy that some of you on here may know. He goes by the name Hussein Asif, and in the last year, he's blown up with his viral content on TikTok. Every single video he posts, it's like something out of simulation, and some of the stories he told us are outrageous. So just make sure you stay locked into the end to get a bit of a deeper dive into Hussein's life. Do you know about the nose job video? No. no. So my first ever video was my nose job video, which right. people still bring up to this day, but it was basically, I jumped off a bridge. I wasn't suicidal, I just like jumped off because I like, jumped off a bridge. Just jumped off. <laughs> I was just like just jumping off a bridge and I accidentally need myself in the face and my nose just like busted out massively, like out of place. In fact, I think I may have seen pictures of, were you in hospital and you had it all? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. So I got a free nose job off the NHS and like fixed my nose for me. And I had to put like pack your nose for like a beak. <laughs> and like they saw it out, they made it screw it. And, they'll... <laughs> and then uh, I got a free nose job and then I don't know why it was locked down. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video about it. Like I'd never, people used to tell me to do TikTok because I used to do Snapchat stories before, but it was just my friends. Like I used to just post on my story, like everything that happened in my life. And they're like, you need to do TikTok, you need to do TikTok. And Everyone then flat. I didn't get it, bro, because I, when I first started TikTok, it was for like weird emos, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was a weird app, like no one wanted So what's this, like 2020 or something? like? Yeah, it was around 2020, start of lockdown. And then I just put together this nose job video and then woke up the next day and it was on like 300k views and like all these Instagram meme pages were messaging me saying, can we post this? What was your thoughts when you saw that, that like figure of how many views that you had? It was weird. It was like, I was like... I didn't understand like how, like how he could just get so many people. I was like, "What have I done?" Like, yeah, I just woke up and like I was scrolling through my phone and it wouldn't stop. Like, then if so, so and so comment on your video, like it wouldn't stop. Just like notification, no, after notification. After notification. And while I was looking at it, more and more coming yeah. through, and I was like, "Eh," and I was like, "You get like a bit excited, like you're like yeah. shit, like I'm famous now." Did you get like pillow flies on yeah, it? Yeah, like, like, like you get put on buzzing like, when you get your first viral video. But like now that I do it, like TikTok's like the easiest one I've noticed to get viral. I've only experienced that once. And you remember that when I came to yours and that video went up TikTok, the cat one. It, oh, it's it was the cat one. And we yeah. woke up and I was like, what? Were you buzzing? Yeah, I was like, mate, what are you doing? Who cares? Like, I've done it. I made it. It does what it can get you off the, off the mark. But I can imagine like you were thinking... Well, this is just normal for me. But like, uh, I didn't do that thinking, yeah, in a few like years' time, I'm going to be like... So there was no agenda then when no, you posted this first the video? Path, yeah. Like, it was just for the bounce, like... But that's what I used to post on my story. It was never like, oh, I'm going to be making money off this. It was never like that. So where did it lead from there then? What did you think? Did you think, okay, okay maybe I could do this as a job? Or... No, like, that's never been a thing till the like, last few months. But basically, I used to post videos that I had for my camera roll after the nose job one, and they all used to keep going viral. And then I was just like, and everyone's like, this is mad. But to me, it was just yeah, normal. It's just your normal life. Yeah. So then I was like, why are people buzzing so much? So then I carried on doing it. And then like everything just kept going viral and viral. And then got to the point where I was at uni and I was starting making a bit of money off it in my third year. And then by the time I graduated uni, I was making so much money off TikTok, I didn't need a job. So was there a video where you, because obviously, it, I imagine they were all doing quite well. You may have had the odd one that didn't pick up, but I bet, was there a video where you just thought, right, this is now it? Like, there was one where it sort of... Tracy Riku. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, were fucking, like, they don't leave me alone about her. Like, I haven't posted about her in years, and like she still gets brought up to me. Like, I try to move away from her because all people say is Tracy Riku, Tracy Riku, but she wants nothing to do with There is that one video that you'll always be like known for. And mine was, I got robbed. So everybody says, oh, that's the kid that got robbed. And then you just get known for that. Like... I'd say within the Pakistanis, it's the nose job because they all want nose jobs because we all have fucking friends. <laughs> but with, uh, in general in the UK, it's Tracy Riku. That's a main one. And was she literally just a random person on the street? Random person on the street, just took the piss like just part of them basically interact yeah. and pc just uh she came up to us and people don't know the backstory of this tracy b came up to me asking me for a lighter because she was smoking a joint <laughs> she asked us for a joint and just one thing led to another and now like people but she messaged me because i messaged her because i try to like get her back because everyone i didn't realize she, really she'd be that loved so i tried to get her back and then she was like fuck off you give me fame i never wanted <laughs> you limp cockweed or some like posh vocabulary insult and then she just started calling me all sorts and 
She's like, I will be more intelligent than you will ever be, this and that. And then, yeah, I never, she blocked me. I oh, really? Better than you in every way. And then I found her on Tinder. Oh, no. Uh, super, super like it. Yeah, super like. Got- you were the super like. You mentioned, you mentioned uni. What did you do at uni and how did that go? So, uni, uh, it was a rough one towards the end. So, with uni, I were always made sure to never post what uni I was at or, like, <laughs> Anything to do with being actually at uni. Wait, so when, when was this then? And were you like, did you have a certain amount of followers when you were at uni or? Yeah, so I started while I was in first, end of first year. And then I went in a second year with like, I think it was like 100k. So like everyone in uni kind of like knew. People know of people you, don't knew they? knew of it. Not a lot of people, but a few people did. Yeah. And then um, I'd post stuff about being in student halls and this and that. And then at one point when I went into my final year, obviously I'd been on like half a mil at this point. And um, people had been sending my TikToks into the uni trying to get me, like, kicked out of my course. Really? Yeah. And, like, said all sorts, like, it was racist, homophobic, all these, like, you know, these oppressed Olympians, like, all of them were sending it in. Had you had some, like, questionable videos up at this point, or? I didn't think anything was... Tracy Beaker was one of them, saying that I took a piss out of someone with autism. (laughs) Like, Tracy Beaker got sent in, like... (laughs) Oh uh, no! They ended up suspending me two months before my final year exams, and while they were un- while I was under investigation. So for the last two months, I had no I couldn't go on a lecture. So they took this seriously then? Lo- what, just because you were making videos? Yeah, I just took off all my logging credentials. Everything I couldn't log into the library or anything. Plus, well, Nainas, if wiped off. The yeah, mate, just gone. Yeah, yeah. Matrix is trying to get me, mate. I do it style, <laughs> mate. From giving out autographs on the canvas to fucking. Locked off. So just nothing. Grid. So for like two weeks, I just dedicated my whole life to just studying and doing my like exams, and I ended up getting a first. So you got a first. It didn't end up affecting anything to do with uni. Fuck you, not on my uni. <laughs> but actually, the woman who they suspended me, who was working with me, she was part of nice. Like she was trying to be on my side, but she had to just follow their rules, which was like if someone's been reported for something they have to investigate they've got a follow up on it haven't they okay. but yeah it was fucked like there's people out there all just trying and, like fuck shit up for you everyone wants to smoke I didn't realise I, I just used to post whatever happened in my life or my family used to be like listen there's gonna you post this you post you just moved into a new place like people are gonna like try and ruin it for you there is always people but I don't think like that so I never knew that people would actually go and do that the people that do that are just extremely jealous because they're living such mundane boring lives and then when they see that like why is he getting to do all this out of the umber report report yeah let's you take, him down, take him down take him down in real life because it's the people who sit at home and don't have yeah. a life that keep keyboard off. warriors yeah. mate yeah. the people who actually go out and about and realize that things aren't that deep yeah like, they would never be bothered about that so i never see these obviously all these here comes i never see them in real life so after uni then is this when you started to take the online videos more seriously yeah. you say seriously yeah because <laughs> it was always just like it was never like planned i never like sat there thinking like today i need to impress my tiktok followers with this like it was always just like i'm gonna go out do whatever film it on snapchat and then post it and then yeah if it goes viral it goes viral okay so give us an insight of a few of the videos then like what, what's one of your most favorite uploads my <laughs> favorite one's the chris brown one yeah and I, I think people's favorite ones is the Tracy Beaker one. And you said, no, it's because people yeah. think it's fake. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just said that to you, didn't I? I had to come back in. I said, was that Chris Brown video real? But he's sort of like... I, I'm not some fucking computer nerd that's managed to like, make some AI construction of Chris Brown picking up my phone. Like, yeah. You literally asked me to edit a video for you. That's what I mean. People make out like... They just refuse to believe that stuff's real. Like, even if you have the video footage. It's, it's normal, either... Yeah. I always get either why you're recording it or... Is that's not real? Show me the proof. So it's like you can't win. No, you can't. Like, yeah. You can't. It's, if you record it, there's it. like that's not like why are you recording. And if you don't record, it's like you haven't got the video proof. I think that's why they always end up being the best videos though, because they're so off the cuff, and you can tell. You can yeah. tell that it's not planned. That you're literally just living, recording, yeah. and doing something funny, and that's always ends up being the best. Cause it's more organic. It's not yeah fake. Like, I don't feel like oh, today I have to go out and make this video. Like it's just I go out. I do whatever. Do you think you will feel that at some point? Like, is this? Would you but say this is your job now? I've, or? St- I've made sure that I never get to that point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, I don't post. People use like I used to get managers like messaging me, being like, "You, you, you're just not on it enough. Like, you need to be met, posting two, three times every day. You're not reaching your potential. This and that." But I was like, "That's not like I don't want to do that. Like, once or twice a week, Max, I'll post if I feel like it. Sometimes I don't post like two weeks through it. The thing is, is that saying it's. What is it? There's more than one way to skin a cat. 
there's more than one way to probably the strange analogy for this scenario, but there's more than one way to do well on social media. Yeah. Obviously, they they've got all these people that are doing the generic posts. It's not quite the same. I don't think they quite realise the authenticity of it for you is much more important than the hit in the algorithm. Yeah. For them, it's all very like bang, bang, bang. Do this, do this, do and this. You, as well. You're gonna get. You're gonna pick it up by hitting it this time, this time. If you're doing videos that are organic like yours, you don't need that as much because they're not doing it the way you are. It's different for everyone. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I don't try and like force it or push something. Like if it happens, it happens. Like main thing matter for me is just like as long as I'm enjoying it. Like that's it. Like and that's how that's how you'll continue to do good videos if you're actually enjoying it and you don't feel it as a chore yeah because we think what we said earlier you used to do vlogs every day and i told him on the way here that it sort of got to the point where you felt like in a way you were faking your life well, because no, sure, no, one's, yeah. no one's that interested even you unfortunately i don't think anyone's that interested yeah, yeah well we'll see yeah. Yeah. let go on yeah, you edit him he can do it yeah well uh, yeah it's, it's interesting because like when you wake up every day to make a video you start to th you do start to wake up and think to yourself right what am i going to do today and that's when the line has been crossed because it's like okay we're not filming natural shit anymore it's yeah. just waking up to film a video which is obviously what you said you don't you don't want to be in that situation fuck that like even the whole youtube thing makes you cringe like hey guys welcome back doing the oh, vlogging right. and holding the thing oh, yeah, yeah. Like, i'll say it, if someone's around me with a camera and i can just go on with my day then yeah that's fine but like i don't want to sit there with a the camera myself you are like a film crew just following you around yeah, like, if i had a film crew following me around that would be fine and he's one of them things that come out of the back and it's got a camera that guy who does oh, yeah. the train videos yes francis 360 oh, yeah. mate yeah one of them would be, but like people's reactions aren't natural to you if they see cameras around you. Yeah, people mean? change, don't yeah. they? Can you imagine that for a crossover collab? You go on to Francis Bourgeois and you see them two with GoPros on their head. <laughs> and that, this is not real. <laughs> I think that would fly to be fair. He's got like a photo shoot with like Ralph Lauren or something. I he? just he was with um, Prince, the son, the oldest son with not much hair. No, nice. sorry. How yeah. does he land these things? No, no, no. The other one, Pedro. No, not the pedo. Is he the pizza? <laughs> you know who I mean? With the one that's not Megan. William. 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 Yeah, Prince William. There we go. Who was that over there? No, it was uh, uh, Prince William. He met them on the train, on the tube. I was literally it. yesterday or the day before. Came up. What Another one I went to ask about. The Stingray. The Stingray? <laughs> was that some sort of like de dedicated to Steve Irwin or something to take this fight back Steve against Irwin? Fight back Steve against Irwin's him. a boy who had to get revenge for him. Mate, I, I respect it. It is good. Fuck the, fuck the Stingrays. Yeah, I got all these Americans <laughs> in my DMs about that video. They weren't happy. What was the lead up to that then? Just, I met this uh, weird, weird girl in the zoo and she was just like, I think she was thought, like, Americans think that they're in a movie. She was just like, I think she thought like, it was going to be one of these love stories. Like she bumped into me, and like I was a British lad, and we just started talking. I was entertaining it, and then she was like at the stingray bit. So I went there, like she was filming me because she's like, oh, "I'll show all your British friends that you were the stingray, like you can pet it." So then, like I went and picked it up, and it literally just jumped out at me. So you didn't, so you didn't actually try to bring it out. It just sort of jumped out. No, like I was bringing it up to like, like go up to like close to my face, and then it just like jumped out. Oh, and man. then it just went, and this, you, no one knows how slippy they actually are. Like, trust me, like, you can't grab them like this slip. So like, when I had it for under its wings, like it just jumped out, and like, I couldn't like done anything. For That's that. a bit better then, because it it does sort of look like you throwing it, and I was thinking, Maybe. sort of look like it literally looks like you fucking hook it out. Of <laughs> 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 but then yeah, that's I was pulling it up, but I didn't think it was gonna like so I actually jump out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but that, the best bit was when the guy slips over. I was like, "This, shit, this fucking." What were you like in school? What was I in school? Yeah, uh, were you like, uh, were you like more reserved, or were you still like pretty much out there and like? It was like, well, I got sus I, I got suspended from school because I recorded a, when they give us the iPads. I recorded a girl getting shot on by a bird, and she was <laughs> in the toilet crying. <laughs> But then they literally took my iPad off me and suspended me and made a whole assembly about me like I was going to be a serial killer or something. <laughs> like, they literally made all that. I was going to be the next Ted Bundy. And this, this, well, just make an example of you, basically. Yeah, and, like, they suspended me and everything. And, like, I knew the girl who got shot on, like, she was, like, laughing away afterwards. Like, she didn't care. The next Jeffrey Dahmer. Stop. Jeffrey Dahmer. Stop. Well, I look back at shit, like, from school. I was like, I can't believe we used to let teachers speak to us like that. And, like... I know you just let it fly though, don't you? Because yeah. you're like, yay big. And it's like, like these people. You think people... they're right because they're teachers and you just have to let it go. But like, I wouldn't dare now. Like, you look back and I regret so much shit. 
but yeah, school was like the same for me. But I was like, I wasn't like stupid. Like everyone thinks I'm thick for some reason. But when well, you got first in account, yeah, that's so. what I mean. Like I'm clever, but I just don't know why people think I'm thick. So do, do you consider yourself like an influencer at this at this moment in time? Then I used to always deny it, but like truthfully, all my money is just from TikTok now. So yeah, TikTok oh. influencer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So obviously, so the Coachella thing. You obviously you must be earning some decent cash because you you did the post and. Uh, well, I flew out a random guy, um, thought he was going to be like, well about it, do you know what I mean, getting a paid holiday to Coachella, you think. So you paid for everything then, basically? I paid, well, I paid for the flight, and then apart from that, we were just going to wing it, we really didn't have a hotel or car and that, but, but he knew that, like, he knew we were going to sneak in, and he's like, yeah, yeah, put a, like, egg in me on to do, because I was the one that was, like, double thinking it, thinking, shit, we're going across, halfway across the world, what if you don't get in? And then ended up flying him there and he turned out to be the most miserable cunt ever. <laughs> Which I'm sure everybody will see in the video. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it all. So then we had to leave him stranded and then he went home. It is sort of shocking as well because obviously I think you, you said, you've got to imagine, he's seen it from your Instagram and you think he knows what he's in for. He knows what he's signing up to and then he's just turned up out to be a bit of a... That's what I mean. Like He knew what was going to happen. Mm. Like It's not as if it came as a surprise. Even before I said to him, like, we could sneak in there, you sound like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Obviously, like I'm up for anything. And we got there, and he literally snuck in first day, and he was asleep on the floor in the tent. And how old was it out of ten? Probably a two. A two. Coachella. Actually, shockingly yeah, easy. Yeah, Coachella as well. Like, Listen to like, this. Shockingly easy. Like, you would think for, like, the most high-profile people in the world, it'd be, like, top-level security. He's got your own smoke here. So now you need to get it up, and you sort it out, like... <laughs> I think, it, I think it'll be, they'll, like, watch it and just think they'll totally change the whole way it is. Do you think he's going to say to his mates, though, that, oh, I've done all this cool stuff? Like, you said he was, like, bro. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You know, and I looked at his stories while we were there. He was making out like he lived his best life. But I feel like everyone does that. Like, they're making out like they're having a mint time, but they're not actually having a good time. It's like he didn't really want to be there, from what I've seen from, yeah. from the video. They've been like, we live through the camera. How are you earning money through TikTok, and how does that work? Just, I literally just get paid to use sounds. Like, I'd, I'm not PG enough for brands, but like, I got taken on a Spotify trip, and then they cancelled my contract because I got put in the sun. And they were like a racist. <laughs> what were you in the sun about? They made like some racist post saying that I was going to blow up the balloon, which Fuck I would sun. never do, obviously. I saw that. I googled your name, and it's like the third thing that comes up. What is it? Yeah. Do, do, do you get that a lot then? Do people say, oh, "Why has he done that?" No. Or, what's the story no. behind that? Then? So basically, we were on a Spotify trip, and then we were partying on the plane, and then they put. So because it was a Spotify, well, there was a Love Island person on the plane, and because he was on there, obviously they're like like addicted to the press like the press love him yeah yeah so like because he was on there they chose to make an article about when they used me as the cover for and it was like where pe um flight from hell where people threatened to blow up the plane and stuff like that and there's a photo of me there twice and then the spotify because of that article can't but you know what this is how two-faced they are when i got off that plane and spotify saw the videos on people's stories like that was so funny that was classless and that like we saw you on the plane it was me annoyed isn't it and then when it got put in the sun they're like i'm sorry we're gonna have to cancel your contract and didn't pay me and they were like i tried to make me sign an nda and everything i was like i'm a fuck signing it what were you doing with spotify then on a plane with with levi so they were flying us to ib for for some Spotify sponsored trip, and we had to like just post it. <laughs> like, can do. <laughs> yeah, and then that ended. Really? <laughs> yeah, and then that ended up really badly because it ended up canceling my contract and trying to make me sign the NBA. I'll tell you what was funny. When I first sent, I obviously messaged you, and then I sent it to Alex, and he went, obviously, do a bit of background research. I don't think he's seen it. And he sent it. He sent the clip, question mark. He was like, is this guy trying to blow planes or something? I what, no, I sent him the article. Yeah. I sent him the article. Yeah, you actually went... what comes up on Google, you type your name in, that is what yeah. comes up on Google. Like they've changed it now. So, one million followers then. How does that feel? Took a while, they banned me three times, but I finally got there. It's like a rocky story. Massive, massive supremacy. They can't, end, <laughs> they can't stop me. Did Molly May give you a shout out when you hit it and give you them one million balloons, the big silver ones? Everyone was saying, are you going to get the balloons? I was like, I'm a fuck. So, I obviously did the Coachella thing and said, that was last minute though, because I was thinking I wanted to do something for hitting a million, because like for like my kind of content, it's a big deal. Yeah. Like, obviously, like if you're like getting your tits out and like shit in your ass, it's easy to hit a mil. That's what we're thinking of if this don't go well. Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> that's the next room. Uh, but like, I'd, yeah, it was harder for me. Like I'd get like thingies, and I'd always get like, oh, you used to think you're funny, but this is too far, and then unfollowed. I'm like, do it, man. Like, uh, no, I was watching it, and I do really like it. But I'll be honest, the one when I saw the stingray, I went, he threw stingray. I was like, no, why? But they have three second yeah. memory. Like, it's not gonna remember it. 
Like he's forgotten about it. Like, yeah, it's true. Why is everyone so like? They just swimming around thinking about it now. Isn't but it? like these people, like don't understand what fucking happens to their chickens and that when they eat yeah, chicken nuggets. A... Like they go through way more pain. Like that's a fact. But like these people, oh, hypocrites, man. Like they see something online because they're like want to be angry at something they've chose that man. a lot of fuck the stingray anyway <laughs> weird situations forward slash in too deep making videos or maybe even not making videos like any just situation where you're like in too deep or where your heart's yeah. I'm gonna lose the job uh, oh well actually the one time I was actually proper shit myself was when um, I went to Ibiza and uh, it was during like Covid so we had to sneak into Ibiza rocks and we sat in these girls hotel and we were like pouring water on people from the balcony <laughs> And someone had called the police and the police knocked on the door and uh, we looked through the people and the girls were like, oh, we're naked and like, get dressed. And then me and the guy hid on the balcony and we were going to climb over the balcony and go to the next room. And then I look over, the policeman's already gone through the next room and his head pops over the balcony and he's like, get inside now. So I went inside, what one day, he slapped me around the face, got me on the floor, put me in handcuffs, took me in the car. I was thinking, fuck, I'm going to get bummed. And then a fight broke out in front of the police car. And then I seen like a fellow brownie. I was just like, help me, help me, knocked on the door. He just opened the car door. Fuck off, you can get done for that. Yeah, and I ran in the front, grabbed my phone and ran. And I looked behind and they got their buttons out and sat and beating the guy who opened the door. Oh my God. Oh, were, you, were you still cuffed at this no, point? No, no, when they put you in the van, they uncuffed me. Mistakes in the car. made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this is his day, you almost caught Husna Yassif. Yeah, and I thought, and then I've the girl, she got a video of like it happening from the morning, he slapped me, and then me running on a random motorway, like, uh, like just getting away, and I didn't know where my friends were, and I was just she running down this random motorway, just in short. Makes a fucking GTA wishing that. If I've misheard, that this is all just for pouring water on people. <laughs> I mean, yeah. fucking hell, imagine. Mate, you're I was like, you'd appreciate that, that, like, in IB for like, it's boiling, like, you'd be buzzing with a bit of fresh water. <laughs> I would. IB for rocks to fucking pull pot. That's what I mean, like, it could have been asses. <laughs> well. I'm glad it wasn't. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's fucking hell. Get... <laughs> um, fake videos. Anything staged, mate? Do you stage anything? You've got so many views on the video. Surely something's just fake. Nothing at all. Nothing. Well, it's nothing that... Nothing that I've gone out and done something's fake. Nothing that I can think of. Like, maybe something stupid, like, that's obviously fake. But, yeah, I don't ever go out and be like, right... Can you do this for a video? Like, or just say this when I say. Yeah. This oh yeah. Like, yeah. no. Everyone's reactions real. What I do is real. Like, when I went and fucking ruined that proposal, when I was asking <laughs> where Walmart was, everyone was in the paid actors. I was like, how is some? Why would I put that much effort in getting someone? Like, it's so annoying, isn't it? And it's all because people do actually fake things, though. And they all just don't want to believe that anything's real. Even the Chris Brown thing. Like, how could I fucking fake that? Yeah, that's the thing. But the people that do fake the videos, they have such like a cl quick rise. And as soon as people start, yeah, that's what I mean. I've been doing it for years. I'm not pushing anything. I wasn't forcing anything. I did say when I left uni, I'm going to go in 100. percent But even then, I've been chill. I've not been like on it. What do you mean by going to 100? percent Like, I'm going to like post constantly and like but like i don't want to do it where it's like a chore i'm never do it yeah you can very easily get speaking from experience i've been doing this 10 years you can very easily get to that stage where it's just like okay now i need to wake up and film something today and what's it going to be instead of just i don't know just ad hoc filming your life as it happens and funny shit that happens like that so nothing nothing that you've done is staged no so like when i flew so like that's what i was saying when i uh, met my sugar mom in america and i <laughs> two there for two months I lost my TikTok account and I was kind of livid because I was like, I want to be in the American few page because like a different world over there. But then I was actually like kind of like relieved to not have it for like two months and just do whatever I wanted and not think, oh shit, I need to post this. Was there anything that happened there that you thought it would have made a good video? Yeah, so I've got all the videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm posting now. So people think I'm in Texas now, but I was actually there two months ago and I've just got my account back. So I'm only just posting now as if like I'm there. That's it. And I've like literally got like endless amount of foot content there. Uh, just thought of something for Dubai. I literally oh. it's just in my head I was about to say, so you're banned from Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> but so you're banned from Dubai. What what take us through Dubai start to finish? What what did you Good do? Good riddance, fuck Dubai and fuck the Arabs, mate. I hate them all. Don't, <laughs> don't want to go back. No. <laughs> Train yeah. like shit, yeah. Yeah, they literally even when that like, whole thing happened, like they were this the way the Arabs were, it was off it. Like they think they are honestly. They think they're tip top, don't they? Tip top because of money. I don't know what it is, but they've always. But even I'm oil, like, mate. Did you get pooed on? Like, did, did I let anyone? No, share? no. Did I? Fuck? But there's a guy where I live in Dean's Get Towers in Manchester who lives in the penthouse, 
and he pays lads to like shut on their chest and at one time security found a 17 year old guy shivering naked in, in his head out. I, 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 was, I, I was about to say where's this one but when is this game released because I'm actually on a mission to like take him down I'm going to pretend I'm 17 I'm going to film him and then I'm going to be like give me 150k or else I'm posting it proper blackmail he's an accountant <laughs> like, like, he's, he's, he's an accountant for a French uh, African prince that's his job. This I've made or up... No, I'm joking. No, that's right. Is that I'll... one of them ones when you get the email, like, please don't... Is it... one Mate, I promise you now, when Dean's Prince. getting towers, there's so many dodgy people, and they post it... Oh, mate, they better not kick me out for this, because the, the guy who owns the towers, he's, like, f on their side when police came and that. He wouldn't give the police CCTV. He's getting a bit of this. Yeah, he's yeah, getting yeah. extra. There's some bribery going on. He's, there, like, on their side, which is a good thing. Like, he protects the residents over the police. Like, fuck the police, but... Yeah, it's dodgy table, shit goes on there. Loads of dodgy shit. Back to Dubai, though. What was the... What's the story about Dubai? Because I don't even know what why you're banned from fucking Dubai. I mean, that's nuts. So, like, um, when I went to Dubai, I took a photo and I posted it on my Instagram and I captioned it. Uh, I called the Burj Khalifa Mia Burj Khalifa. So, do you know Mia Khalifa, the pawn star? Yeah. And then I randomly woke up one day. But I'd been... I flew home by this point. And I had like 500 plus comments and it was from all these Arabic influencers and I was on all these stories and it was like Dubai police a hundred times in a row, they'd added them. So I shot myself and I blocked Dubai police on Instagram. Didn't realize they had Twitter. I looked on Twitter and they'd wrote a tweet about me in like Arabic and it was something like click this link to report this guy or something. And it had a picture of my social media, like a few pictures of me. And all the Arabic influencers was reposting my photo on their story, being like, he shall be struck with an iron fist, he shall burn in hell for talking about this uh, divide at this bar. I was like, mate, if anyone came to the UK and called it like, Big Ben, Bell and Ben, no one would give a shit. Like, we don't care. It's a building. It's not like it was a religious, like, thing. it's the tallest building in the world. And Yeah, and it may. Like, they're just so, like, entitled. Like, they think they can never, anyone can never consent. Honestly, I thought the story had gone over my head. So he literally called the Burj Khalifa, Mia Khalifa. And got in shit for it and got banned from the... So it's not like they've, like, formally been like, you can never come back. It's where, if I go there, they'll arrest me for, like... I don't know what it's called, where you t disrespect their lead... Because it's named after their leader. Oh. Oh, that's probably, it's yeah. It's somewhat adding up, but it's still ridiculous. Still is, stupid, yeah, mate, it's, like... It's so entitled. And how it? do they even know who Mia, Mia Khalifa is if they're all so religious and that? Like, why do you know Mia Khalifa? I wonder who was, like, the first person to see, see I don't it. know how, like, I woke up and he just, like... All of them popped off. And they were all like, Mia Burj Khalifa, like, how dare you? And they're just all started saying, Pakistan, you're scum. Go back to your <laughs> shitty home in Pakistan. This is why you are at the bottom of the, like, Absolute hierarchy. Thrashing, mate. Like, that's what I mean. They, they see themselves as above every other like, race. <laughs> Arabs, they do. So now the, Arab, not all Arabs. the Arab hate is somewhat more... Well, it's not good, but I'm not... <laughs> Definitely not, 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 not all Arabs. Majority of them, yeah, yeah. especially the Dubai ones. There's some like from Jordan and other countries like that. They're fine, but Emirates are called. A lot. A lot of people say that it's sort of like a fake state. Like you, it you leave. You, oh, is it so plastic? Isn't it? Yeah, it's like everyone's like, fa like living a fake life. It's these rich people trying to prove they're rich. Yeah, that's. It, there's not much culture to it. So no, it's, it's not. I'm trying to. Tread around this lightly. Yeah, go to the back. <laughs> Please, don't they're like they, they, no, they act like they're at the top of the literally pay European girls to come and shit in their chest. Like, yeah. but that's what happens. Money turns you into a fucking freak. Yeah, yeah. does it get a bit spicy, can't it? Rich people just have like no normal social life because they just buy anything. And that's even if you're rich, you go to Dubai, you're not rich because everybody's. Yeah. That's what rich. I've never been bothered about money, me. Like, never. Like, I want to be like financially well off, but like, I've never been like. You want enough to be able to live your life freely. Like, it's you don't need money, but money makes life a lot, lot easier. Yeah, like, I'm not balling, but like, I got paid for like a sound and like a deal on TikTok, and I just spent all that money and taking a random guy to LA because I was like. It's that's like a lit thing to do, to be fair. Yeah, I was like, that memory is worth more to me than the money. And what? you got content yeah. out of it, yeah. so, which is great. And hopefully, if it gets a few million views, I'll get that money back. It's an investment. Yeah, it is an investment. I'm hoping so, it is. You you want it's, it's all in you if you're editing. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. We're not there yet. I'd say we're 70% of the way there with it. Still a bit more to do. You want the money to be able to buy your experiences. That's the thing at the end of the day. And it? Uh, people say you can't bring your materialistic things with you when you die, but you're always going to have your... Your memories, memories. yeah, yeah. Yeah, memories over money any day. 100%. Celebs. Celebs. Have you ever had any 
interactions interactions with celebs or has anybody contacted you through your videos or anything like that all them throwing an iphone at chris brown's head <laughs> i mean that's a pretty big one never been con uh, uh do you know black china's mom no. not personally I'm not <laughs> oh, she's a fucking psycho she messaged me a lot of abuse like all sorts saying that my i need to suck on my dad's dick and like he fucks little girls and this and that she's typed to see, see these things she's tapped well that's because i messaged her saying something like i've never been to japan but i'd love to, to go to because she's called tokyo tony as that? I, that's her name, Tokyo Tony. Oh. <laughs> Black Giant's mom's called Tokyo Tony. So I DM'd her something like, oh, I've never been to Japan, but I'd definitely go to, like, Tokyo... To, like, I don't know what I said with her. Sounds but. like a fucking Simpsons character. But, you know, Tokyo she's, Tony. Have you never heard of her? No, honestly, not once. She's fucking tapped with her. Let me find the DMs. Me. Yeah. Me. Why do you ask a What? It goes to me. Are you having a good time? <laughs> Taking the Does that mean you're not? <laughs> no, so, no, it's great. I've gone through half of it. Good, good. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is. I was like, Sup, B, when I come down to the UK, I'm trying to smash. I've never been to Japan, but I'd let you, t- <laughs> I'd let you take me to Tokyo, Kugo style. And she went, I hope you catch AIDS in your mother's mouth. Your mother should have eaten dick off the ground. What are these rats running? I want to catch the nut. I will eat your daughter's <laughs> pussy. Suck your daddy's big ass dick and lick his balls from the back, bitch. Faggot dick sucking little bitch. Oh, and then she like, that shit. What? Oh, and that and then she blocked me. She's a psycho, mate. Somebody ain't screaming. I thought then. I was gonna like get in with her and that, and then she'd message me back. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Yo, B, I'm trying to hit. Get AIDS and die. Literally. That's but yeah, it. that's probably like the only I've never really known high and slept. Like I've been dying of me. Like I'm in love with Rihanna. I've been in love with Rihanna like since I was a little. And I, every time I've tried to see her, I was looking at the Golden Globes, missed her by five minutes. When I saw Chris Brown, ASAP Rocky was on straight after. So I waited there. I was in like the front VIP pit where the artists go. And I was waiting for her. But then I thought, nah, she's just had a kid. She won't turn up. I left. Ten minutes later, she walks out. What is it about What is it about Rihanna that you like? What do you mean? What is it not what about do Rihanna? Mean, do you not see the... Re- man, she's bad girl, really. Yeah, she's yeah nice. nice piece of kit. Yeah, I think she's... A, well, I don't think she's that fit now because she's on fat, but like, but peak, <laughs> peak Rihanna, man. Like, she is unbelievably sexy. You can't beat peak Rihanna. Sexy normally. Yeah, I would have to agree. Nice and actual MILF. Like, like, that, she had every, that, mate, she had British lads like, walking around with a face on there. Did you see that in T-shirts when she had a red hair? Hey, I, I... Yeah, that's I, what I mean. I, she I, had that. Loads. What, you had a T-shirt mate, with Rihanna? Yeah, yeah well, white top, top, top man. Top, top, top man. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know about this. Had the little back mate, little every bangles. British lad had it. It was like a white top and it had Rihanna's face on it. Jogger jeans, espadrilles. Rihanna. Chinos. Sweat hair. Chinos, dunks and a Rihanna top, mate. That was it. 100%. Mate, you... Yeah, I'm missing out of my yeah. mate. It's because you're in Newark. Yeah, yeah it's damn too far. Probably not early top. Do you know what top man is? No, 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 mate. Yes, yeah, just a little shop. Just a little one. Yeah. yeah. Who did you have like Adele? Do I, I do like Adele, to be fair. Do you? Yeah, she's an She's a bit fake, though, isn't she? Mate, yeah. not anymore. She's not anymore. Like, oh, I'll take a thick Adele. Don't worry about it. Wasn't she shagging like, like Skepta? Yeah. Mate. No, she was. Yeah, she was. I'm that's sure she like sounds like about gangsters. She's some fucking Mate, she is a gangster. No, she makes she does gun fingers and that. <laughs> Mate, she is. She's about it. She's about the lifestyle. But she's she's nice now. The ne- She'd get it just because she's Adele, but like, that's yeah. the same as like Gemma Collins would get it just because she's Gemma Collins. Okay, I'd, tr- mm, I'd check Gemma Collins just because she's Gemma Collins, but not like... If, I, if she wasn't famous and no one knew, I wouldn't show her. I'm not going underneath that. Maybe <laughs> like fucking books. I would, be. It's Gemma Collins and she's class. You'd have to fucking peel me out. Like a piece <laughs> sticker off an apple. But, well, I, I'm so sidetracked now. Adele's new album doesn't hit that much. The old shit is great. Easy that's on it. me. Easy on mm, That's all right. It's a bit too... It, that's something you'd get paid for to use as a sound, isn't it? So yeah. It's a bit too too mainstream. Have you got... I know you're very off the cuff and unplanned and you went to Coachella on 30 minutes notice. Yeah. Or do you have anything in the pipeline that you can say about? Or any plans for the future? Uh, I don't know what the word plan, plan means. No, no. no. It's just Go. dance around. Uh, I don't mean really plans. I have like, oh, like oh, like Coachella, like ever since like a few years ago, I've been like, I want to go there, I want to go there. I've got like in my like, manifestation. So something shit, you've like, always wanted to do. Wanted to do, but I don't like, right, right, yeah. this day, this day, I'm going to plan this. Like, the stuff that I want to do and stuff, but like, I think in the UK, like, completed it. Yeah, that's the thing here. You're not extremely sport for choice, massively. It's so, quite limited here, isn't it? And like, you need, when you do start doing these ideas, you need to make sure 
you get everything done because you may end up getting banned as we've found out. So make sure you hit everything. Three times I've been banned. How have you got the accounts back after the ban? I'm in from countries. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, yeah. I've <laughs> been banned from a few countries. What are the... I'm sure there's another country I can't go to. <laughs> I can't maybe remember what it was. Australia, maybe? I no, don't know why I'm saying I do want to go to Australia as well, though. I want to go to Bali, Thailand. Bali's ace. Yeah, yeah. Philippines on the list and Vietnam. They look up. I went to Thailand for a month and it was ace, but they them two like look next level. I want to go to Brazil as well. That'd be ace. Through the yeah, Brazil would be some good content. Yeah. Brazil would be sick. Uh, you end up getting eaten by an anaconda or something like that. Fucking vlog the inside. Like I'm inside. <laughs> I didn't realize I was swimming in like Texas lakes and that and have crocodiles. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, everywhere. I, like I didn't even, shit. yeah, I didn't even realize at the time. Like, I've got videos of me like in swamps in Texas and that. And then I saw her and like ticked up the other day, and old grandma got swallowed by a crocodile. I was like, no <laughs> way. That. In it, mate. I'm, I'm not... Maybe God's just always on my side. Do you think you could take an alligator? Yeah, I've watched uh, Steve Irwin's I videos. That's... I did the stingray. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Crocodiles are a different breed, mate, but gators are fucking gators. It's very not fucking gators. Gator. Gator. Yeah, that's what I mean. Steve Irwin died from a stingray, but he used to take on crocodiles, so I took on a stingray, so I'm stronger than Steve Irwin. Te well, on a technicality, we'll give you it. But... Yeah. <laughs> right, a um, couple of quick fires. Quick fires. This is, this is your domain, Mitch Jackson. Quick fires. Oh, really odd quick fires. Don't think about the answer. Right, go on. Don't man. think about the answer. Right. If you're a Subway sandwich, what bread would you be? So we're sandwich what bread will I be? I don't know if they're all like white. <laughs> <laughs> Whole meal then. Uh, what's the most bizarre thing you've ever witnessed? It might even be off camera. Well, <laughs> some lad from my hometown was shagging a prosy in an alley where like <laughs> doggy style, I've got a photo of it. He didn't know that. Like, oh my I, God. Like, he was actually trying to shag him. Like, he was doing it in secret and I caught him. Oh my God. Well, but like, I don't even know. Like, I saw someone get shot in America as well. Oh, well, America's. that's probably... That's up there. But I feel that's normal for America. Like, this police guy, I was going... I was, like, in shock. was like, there's someone dead there, and they didn't even cover his body or anything. They just locked off the road. He's, he's munching on his granola. He's like, yeah, it happens. That's fucking mad. It does, though, in America. Yeah, and they'll just say it's normal, yeah. yeah. Conspiracy theories. Do you believe any? Usually, no. And I didn't even believe the COVID one. Like, probably... I'm starting to believe the COVID one a bit more now. But I would, I would say definitely. I think there's definitely some sort. But of... But I don't think out. like it was put out on purpose. I think when it got put out, people took advantage of it. But I don't think it was meant to get out. No, I don't think people wanted the destruction as much as it caused. Yeah, like I don't think it was meant to get out. But then I think when it got out, like Steve Jobs, all that everyone they took advantage it. of it. Yeah, is it Steve Jobs? Who is it that owns? Steve, Steve Jobs oh. isn't. He's not even here. No, who is it that owns? Bill Gates. Gates. Bill, no, no, the other one. He's in on it as well. No, uh, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, Bezos, Bezos Amazon. Mate, yeah. He all took fucking... advantage of that, but he they're could... all reptiles, mate. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like people took advantage of it. Aren't they all part of the same agenda, though? Anyway, like... oh yeah. Like I don't believe they fucking Boris Johnson, and like, he's a fucking spark. Like, I don't believe he had anything behind it. He was actually signed with what he let us like Raven. I thought he was all right. To be we fair. had him. England had it the best we could have had it out of all the countries. No, people still gave Boris shit, and I, I, to be fair, I don't see. But he never got. wanted a lockdown. You could tell. So you had a sugar mama in Dubai. So that is <laughs> Shout out, sugar mama. Uh, got rejected from a club on New Year's Eve in Dubai. I made a YouTube video on this. Did you watch it? No, I haven't seen it. Right. Seen. So uh, you've only got two videos, though. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, uh, I bumped into her by when I got rejected from the club. I heard like a party going on in this rooftop in this hotel. So I walked towards a hotel. She sat there outside on the foot of one of her boyfriends at the time. And I'm like, excuse me, do you live in here? And she's like, yeah, why? And I was like, because there's a party at the top floor and I'm trying to get in. <laughs> and she's like, oh, hell yeah, and I'm coming. And she put the phone down, just linked me, went in with me, and then from there, just took off. So one thing led to another, started shagging her, and she was picked very good. <laughs> nice. Respect. Buy me Chanel <laughs> shoes and all sorts. Is this a thing there? Go on, did you do the same trip as when you got banned? Was this all? Same trip when I got banned. So then when I flew home, she went back to Texas because she was from there. Did she know you were back? She got banned then or not? Yeah, she knew about it. Oh, she, oh well, have you met her back in Texas? Yeah, so that's the reason I went to America. She flew me out. No way. Yeah. No. She just ran. She like messaged me. She used to message me. I used to say, that, oh, I want to come to Texas. I want to come. And then obviously once I'd finished uni and I moved to Manchester, it was literally just as soon as I moved, she messaged me something like, oh, come to Texas. I'm booking your flights. And I was like, mate, if you book my flights, I'm there tomorrow. Literally didn't hear from her for about 25 minutes. Got a notification, it was a screenshot of flight confirmation for the next day. 
and I literally, my heart just started pounding. I, just ran, was I, I literally just ran in my room and put loads of shit in my mouth. Because you know, I knew in my head when I get there, I'm going to be touring all the states, but I didn't tell her that. Because like, <laughs> I was like, I've always wanted to tour around America. So then I packed like massive suitcase and I just packed shorts, joggers, everything I could think of. That is ace. And then, yeah, I packed a suit because I knew that there was going to be somewhere that I needed it. And then the Golden Globes on my last night, I stuck into there wearing my suit. No. And way. a bird shot on me before I snuck in. So it actually is good luck. That's good luck, yeah. Could you? <laughs> and it was green shit, mate. I had to run in and out and I was wiping off this green shit off me. How's she so coined up to be flying? She owns a dentistry. Nice. Yeah, and in there, if you're on a dentistry, she's a bit of coin. millionaire, mate. But there, do you know what I realise? Texas rich is so much different than our rich. Like, Texas rich is like, we'll have a Ferrari and a mansion. They'll have like a dumber truck and a farm. <laughs> yeah, load of land. And, and theirs will be worth more than what we've got. Fucking hell. Yeah, the lads, the, the, lads, yeah. the bar. They value different things, but they have so much money. Yeah. Right. Should we wrap it up then? Yeah. Great pod. Yeah, Great, I, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, thanks for the time, bro. Really no worries. It, bro. Thanks for editing that video. I feel honoured. First, first pod you've been on. I know it is. Uh, people ask me about the pods all the time. I've just thought like, nah, like it was like the people who asked me. I'm just like, nah, not about that. You still but, gonna say that then? Are you gonna be that? You're gonna be down there exclusive, mate. Yeah, this is the only one I've been on. Like, I always like, get asked. And I'm just like, nah, I can't be asked. Fuck that. Like the people are boring, couldn't so I just like think that it's not going to be that interesting, but obviously you edited my video. I've had to do it for you. Love it. Well, mate, thank you very much. No Appreciate it. Thank you.